Yo, what's going on, everybody? I am Michael Dreyer, and this is Cameron Van Hoy. Yes, and um, no, that's we we got that switched around. I'm Cameron. He's Mike. But Mike, so oh, why? Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Why do you look like Steve Jobs today? Probably the sweater. Mm. I is know this... where you're going with this. Where? But I'm not where wearing I... any pants underneath, so I can't stand to show you. Uh, so I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that you want to see the rest of this. I mean, no, no, I don't. I was, I'm just, oh, no, I, no, not interested. Okay. I just, right. I just wanted to, right. yeah, just wanted to comment on the right. tight black okay. sweater, the yeah. Steve Jobs look. Feeling sophisticated. When did you buy this? It's sweater? actually navy blue. Okay. 10 years ago. Oh, so you've had this for a while. Oh, I've had this for a long time. These are one of those sweaters that it, at one point it was like the nicest thing I had to wear. And if I ever yeah. had to go to like a function, I'd wear this and I'd be like picking the lint off. It was like my best attempt to look like yeah, smart, sophisticated. What's it? What is it made of, out of? What is it made out of? Um, I believe this is made out of um sheep's skin. Mm. Skin. Huh? Like sheep skin. Cool. Sheep skin. Yeah. Um, not the, not I'm not wool. really good with fashion. Got it. No, no, sheep wool is what condoms are made of. So anyway, I I have this now as just a throwaway shirt because I've been doing some shopping lately, and I got better clothes now. So like, this could just be a knock around shirt. Nice. I'm coming up in my clothing game, Cam. It's good. Well, I can't wait to see it. Time, you know. All right, so yeah. let's jump right into fashion show. <laughs> I would love. Oh, it. Okay. I would love it. You, you just said, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I was thinking I take more like a new episode, a new alpha every episode type of thing. You know? uh, yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't waste on this. Right. Okay. So let's jump right into it because there's some crazy stuff going on. You know, we, we focus on talking about movie, film, entertainment. Um, you know, anyone who kind of knows me knows what I'm doing with Web3 stuff. And I'm a big believer in Web3 and film. So this first topic kind of plays in a little bit. And I certainly think it's worth discussing because Donald Trump has dropped an NFT. And oh. I think it's hilarious. Are you surprised? I am surprised. So really? can you see? Yeah. So here, here's Donald Trump's collecting cards that's hilarious nft now whoever did the art for this, this fucking ridiculous whoever did the art for this is not good no but i don't know who approved the art i like did not donald trump like look at this look at these. what is he getting offers did he did he not look at this and go guys we can do better you know, yeah. like, <laughs> like like, look at these things. Like, who? Th this is the most slapped together visual if, concept. If there's ever, ever look at, look at look at the golf. Look at with the fist out, the thumbs up, the number if one. There's, if there's that ever the proof that, hat. that this guy really doesn't have the amount of money that he claims he has, <laughs> it's right here where he couldn't afford. I don't a know legit about visual I, I mean, artist. I don't know about that. I, it might come down to just taste um, and, and style. You know, he's probably going to rake it in on this. That's Is, my guess. What's the highest bid? What's the best one? Well, going there, it's not very high at the moment. Yeah. You no, know, no, it's, no. Uh, it's the floor ridiculous. price. The floor price is 0 0.078, which is below mint price. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Yo. <laughs> look at, look at that. I was the president of Trump 45. Trump. He's the president of our fucking country. And he's dropping an NFT. Now, okay, so that there's a couple- look like this. Yeah, that look like this. That look like this is like, I think the main point, not the NFT. Yeah. It looks like- Look, like, look, like, look at this with the sunglasses. You know? What is, who, does he, who does he think he is? Like Maverick? Top yeah. Gun? Look yeah. at him as the superhero. I didn't even see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> going on? right now the, literally the the main image for the entire collection is him Fucking as a superhero hero. they got i i am so i would love to interview whoever designed all of these please who do you think it who do you think this person like looks i think like? they got oh, i think is, i think they hired someone inter 
it, no, it, I, it I, I think I like, hired someone off Fiverr in Pakistan yeah. or something. Like, <laughs> I think. No. I, I honestly think, think it's someone who has. It was. It, he was just like, all right, and then we have to go. We have to. We have to call so and so and make sure that meeting's set. And I need this. And hey, 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 Janine, Janine, yes, sir. Um, I need you to make me NFTs right now. I need it done, stat, in two hours. Dude, look at that. Just like, look at that. I don't know if. What is the thought process? Actually, now, okay, so, so, okay, so. This is hilarious? Oh, dude, look at this. This is fucking ridiculous. Bro. Look at this. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe I mean, did he look. review this? Did he look? Did he look at all the art and go, it's I need to approve? Or did he not smart. even think? Or is this just a complete, someone else on the on the team was like don't worry donald we'll handle the art <laughs> and he's Wait. out there he's out there just shooting golf and like, they're like sir they made you look like a superhero what <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like what is no he's probably like good yeah yeah um, no he he had nothing to do with this he was just like someone created an nft for me yeah they were like listen we can make a or lot maybe. of maybe drop an nft I could see him literally spending a lot of time also putting yeah, a lot of thought that's into true. as well. Be like really in detail. Like I want, I don't do a good right. model. Right. But He's like, how about one with space? How about space. one with space? I want, I, want, I want the finger. I want the finger. I want a point. I want a hat. I want to be slightly tilted. I got a terrible Donald Trump impersonation. I don't, even know if, I don't even know what he sounds like because I wasn't even listening to him for four years. These are epic. Um, he looks like fucking million dollar man in that one. Dude, so, okay, so so what is this, right? So, so look at that, a pixel the face. Best he's ever looked. So someone clearly the best he's ever looked. Yeah, so someone clearly knows a little something, I guess, about the NFT space. So they're like, why don't we make a pixel one? And then he's like, "What's with the pixel face?" And they're like, "They're like, no, it's a thing in, yeah. in NFTs. They do okay. pixels." He's like, "Okay." All right. All right, but only, only, only if we have me palming a basketball. So you could show my hands are not small. Right. You know that's why they did that, right? Right. Scale up the bro, hands. bro. Let's fucking evaluate that right there. Why him with a basketball? Why that sport? Why is he holding a basketball with one hand? I don't know why. Why? Well, what what other what other ball is is? Hard to palm with one hand. No other ball. Baseball, football, soccer yeah, ball. Maybe the basketball. If you could palm with basketball, look, look, look. At, at the same time, he's got a football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not hard to do. Oh, okay. I yeah, hear you. I don't know about your theory there, but anyways, but okay. The theory so, there is that he has. He's trying to tell you that he doesn't have small hands. Maybe. Um. So I really want to he, dive into the small hand thing. I think there's a lot to uncover there. If anything, that was him trying to tell us. Yeah, I was going to say that. Okay. I saw that too. I was like, or that was his attempt. I mean, dude, look at the photoshopping. Look at the face on the neck. I mean, it's just the, the graphic design work is awful. I just feel like this sums up Donald Trump though, doesn't it? This is, look, look you know, had the art been really good, I would probably think this was a brilliant move. Had the art been dope, Oh, these are getting more expensive. Oh, as it gets lower, it gets more expensive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the what's the... Go, theoretically, these are more rare. See, here's the thing. The holders of these things are going to win things, right? They're, you're going to win Zoom meetings with Donald Trump. You're going to – someone will win a dinner with him at um, his house in Florida, yeah, yeah. Mar-a-Lago. Someone is going to get, you know, to play golf with him, things like this, right? So, oh, dude, look at this one. What? What is that? Chuck Norris Trump? Look at the buckle. I guess that, the I belt guess. buckle, dude. Look, look at the belt, belt buckle. buckle. Oh look at the belt God, buckle. Who did this? Mm. Wow. Oh, my God. Six um, views. Six views. High volume. Look at him with the dog. I mean, I could honestly just look at these for hours this is this is pretty fucking hilarious man so wanted to share that with you well, um, thanks for sharing that man i really i needed that pick me up so that was wow they get crazier as you go i mean like there's really some wild stuff okay so anyways donald trump dropping uh an nft he's entered the nft game you know i remember one time donald trump said that he doesn't like bitcoin and cryptocurrency and now he's in nfts and now he has nfts which listen 
at minimum, if he gets reelected, he probably ain't going to be coming after crypto. That's a good thing, right? You know, I I was always like, if this guy gets reelected, he might come after crypto. I think that's the angle. I don't know if it's an angle. I just don't think he can do it now. I think someone probably convinced him on his side. Hey, a lot this of is supporters the if he's like into, you know, crypto now. Right? Yeah, that's true. And then, and then two, I think this is also going to bring a lot of people into crypto. There, there is a lot of Trump supporters that are going to buy these things. And and on his site, if you buy them from the website, you, you can get them with a credit card. Honey, <laughs> honey, how we get these? How do we get these? <laughs> Call up Anthony in New York. He knows how. Yeah. We need some of our city folk friends. That's happening all over the South. They're right losing now. it. Like, yeah. I got to get them now. We don't go before me. What's what? a MetaMask? Hi, baby. What's a MetaMask? <laughs> yeah. Um, the Toshis. Zero, 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 one, two, yeah. zero, one. Yeah. So this That's is a gonna, scene this right is gonna, there, this bro. This is going to bring in like middle America and the South and a lot of people into NFTs in a huge way. Huge yeah. way. Hey, man. Fucking flinch, baby. I'm still holding. Hell yeah. Dude, and, and 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 you know, it also could really signal that the Republican Party is the party of of crypto and blockchain, which would be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's their new that's their new platform. The Republican Party. Yeah. The party the face of crypto. Crypto. <laughs> the party of NFTs. Um, like that's how desperate they've become. Like they have to really that's that's all they push. You know, I, I honest to God, I think this move is a brilliant move. Less the art. The art is terrible. Like he, they botched this whole thing with that art. I really think it just makes sense. If he, he's a very tacky individual and it all just kind of fits in. He had have to have ever been to the like, Trump Taj like Mahal it. in Atlantic right. City. Right. right. Holy right. shit, bro. Oh God. Gold everywhere, man. Everything's gold. <laughs> I mean, look, I look, I've I've obviously I've been in in and around the Trump hotels and casinos and in Vegas. And, and I remember as a kid going to Atlantic city, I can't say they look bad. I mean, they look like a casinos to me. This is terrible design. You know what I mean? Like I've never been to Mar-a-Lago. The images I see of that place looks gorgeous. It looks like a, a, a stunning. This yeah. is just the worst design I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, his ad campaigns look better than this. I, I'm ge- that's where I'm genuinely confused. Like his campaign ads didn't look like like he never ran an ad that looked like that. This mm-hmm. is next level bad. Anyways, let's move on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Avatar, Avatar oh, has yeah. made, it. Did it come out yet? It's it's come out in foreign markets. It just opened, and its first day out, it did sixteen million dollars. In a foreign market in a day. Is that, that's bad, right? I have no clue if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love you just reporting. We're facts. both like, not sure what that means. Next you topic. Know? What? You don't know if that's good or bad? How do you not know? I think it's pretty good. I think, for like a, I think for a first day, not in the U.S., I don't know where it opened, 16 well, like million. most of the money came from foreign sales. I, I think, 16, sales I think 16 million is not, not bad. I think I think that's pretty good, um, and it's not open. even a weekend. Not you know, weekend. I think that if you think it's about open. a weekend box office, like, you know, getting 100 million might be epic, you know, and that's including, like, U.S. and the world. And by the way, when does Avatar open? Let me I know. So... so Because they probably how much did they put into that movie? Billions. December sixteenth. Yeah. So tomorrow. Okay. Avatar opens tomorrow. This billions. Is the you, you know it's funny. Yeah, I think they spent a billion dollars on. They did like one, two, and three, or something like this. So Avatar I'm, I'm, has to make two billion dollars to recoup. I was out with uh, our good friend Lee Garrett yesterday, and uh, Avatar advertisement drove by on a bus. And he's like, ah, who gives a fuck about Avatar anymore? He goes, Avatar? Yeah. Who's, what is, what, where is this coming from? Like, the, the moment passed, man. Like, I, I don't I know if the buzz it. is there. 
I think he might oh. crush it. I, th- I think I think a lot of people are going to go see Avatar this holiday season. Here's the other thing: there's not what there's else. What else, else are you going to see? That's the problem. That's what the else thing. Are you see? If there's you're, nothing you're in the theaters. Prepared. Babylon. Yeah. Babylon's the other one which I want to see. Babylon. And I, I can see that being a movie that you know everyone goes to see because Brad Pitt's in it and Margot yeah. Robbie, right? So it's like, yeah. oh, let's go see the Brad Pitt movie. Right. That 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 could work. Other than that, what is there? The Whale heard- is America in mass going to go watch the Whale with Brendan Fraser? You know. Well, that's the one I was uh, I was offered. Boy. Yeah, Darren Aronofsky made it. That was the one that they, he offered me that that part, and I got taken away for yeah reasons we won't discuss. Yeah, should we get nothing into that personal? One? Nothing yeah. personal, just yeah. uh, political. Um, no, look, Mike, you you've worked with Darren Aronofsky a bunch, um, yeah. and he's uh he's he likes you. Yeah, he, he likes your work. He's a good guy. He's yeah. a great guy. Anyway, I'm, I'm just I'm not even trying to get into that. I'm just saying that uh it's just funny because I see it now. I'm like, oh that that's the one. I heard it's I don't know. I heard it's getting good reviews. It I hear Brendan look, Darren Aronofsky is an amazing filmmaker. He's, Brendan Fraser has been great lately. This is supposed to be some comeback performance. It's yeah. excellent. It's the whale. I don't know anything because honestly, the part I was offered was small. I don't even know what it would have it like the the story was even about. It was just an offer. Um I know the title was The Whale, and it wasn't until I saw a picture of Brendan Fraser that I'm like, oh, wait. Like, I thought it was about like a money guy. Yeah. Like, 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 like is is it like he's a whale? No, it's like, just about it's just about a really fat man. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So he got fat for this, or they were like, yo, Brendan, we got something perfect for you. I have this idea. I've seen so pictures. Brendan, of Brendan Fraser. Because he doesn't look like that now. He's no, no, he, he put on all this weight okay. for the movie. So let me, sh- let me show you. Okay, that then he that needed to be like announced by his, his so publicist. That that right there is Brendan Fraser. Damn. In the whale. That he that's him right there. Damn. He put on damn. that weight for the damn. movie. Damn, 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 damn. Holy shit. He put on all that weight. All right, so l- let me ask you now. Go, go to this picture of, that's, of him. That's Brendan Fraser. That is the most weight any actor has they're, ever put on. They're saying history. it's a transformative. Um, it's like it's it's the transformation. That is normally cinematic, cinematic history. That it's is really normally history. done by fat suits, you know, prosthetics. No one gets to that size. People put on weight to look big, but. That is, that's obese. He got obese. I'm totally joking. That's a fat suit. That is a fat suit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fat suit. I was going to say, I was because I was going to say something. I was going to be like, yo, let me ask you now. Is that like a, an actor who takes his craft seriously? Or is that just a desperate actor? It's like, I will do that to myself for a fucking comeback. I, like, is that I, the face of desperation for a comeback? Or like, no, <laughs> I, I, I respect my fucking craft. I like, mean, I would have really respected Brendan Fraser had he put on all that weight. Yeah, but the there's role. another way to look at that, right? Like, it's the, you know, I also hey, be like, oh boy, like, you're that actress have put on weight. Actors have no look. Brandon that weight though, if he put on that weight, let's not listen. Let's not <laughs> let's not dig on Brendan Fraser. Okay, who's digging on Brendan Fraser? He you didn't are. do it. It's okay. The I like is, Brendan Fraser. I like Brendan Fraser. I it's love him actually. Listen, listen. Let's not pander. It's fine. I'm saying I'm not. I love Brendan, Brendan Fraser. Fraser. We're money. saying we're saying if, which is not what happened, but if that was real and not a fat suit, I'd be like, yo, there's another way to look at this. <laughs> I mean, another way, there's always different could be ways dedication, to dude. I don't know. Could be, could be absolute dedication. By the way, desperation. One by the way, Mike, things. Mike, yeah. what do we need to do to get you to make this your new profile picture? Not much, bro. I want that to be your profile you picture. Send me that thumbnail. That will be on Instagram ever, and Twitter. Everywhere. 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 No, that's it. I'll put that on dating profiles. Yeah. Uh, everything. Yeah. Tinder, Raya, Bumble. Oh everything okay um, no dude it looks i want to I'm, I'm i'm excited to go see it actually I gotta see um it. but avatar i'm gonna see avatar yeah because why not you said it not because we're like yo i've been waiting 10 years for this it's like, oh, yeah. like well, why not it's like i need so a brainless movie to go yeah. watch let's go watch it and i think people might do that in mass 
I don't know. For their sake, I hope so, man. I think I think people might do that in mass. I think it imagine really fifteen crush. years of build up and then I mean if it doesn't off. listen, listen, if it doesn't, then the, you might be able to make the argument that the theatrical box office is 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 done. I was gonna say that would be like the FTX crash. If this doesn't, no. it's like FTX crash. It's like crypto's done. <laughs> it's like Hollywood movie theaters are done. <sighs> I don't know. I movie theaters, it needs, yeah. It really needs to hold the line on this one, man. If it falls below support and doesn't make it money, yeah. I think I think movies are done. I think this is the the test. Yeah, I mean, this could be the thing that really puts the theatrical movie in the grave if it doesn't work, potentially, you know, where it's yeah. just like where suddenly that big box office movie theater experience becomes like either the opera or like community theater. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the movie opera. theaters, it's like there are once in a while, there's some like a few big theaters like operas that. They make these things that the kids don't even go to anymore. It'll be like us when we're old. Yeah. We'll be like going in and they're like yeah. to watch some movie on a yeah. big screen. We're like, we'll dress up for I it. Know, like, gonna... like, we'll put our phones hey. away for it. We'll like turn yeah. off the implant for it and just yeah. kind of let this thing happen to us. Yeah. And we just experience it over that time. Yeah. yeah two yeah. hours or whatever. And, and we so explain like, to our grandkids. They're like, wait, wait, wait. So it's. On a screen, the movie's not all around you. Yeah, you don't You're have control of it. You can't stop it, pause it, be in it, play yeah. with it, rewind it, like, change it. You can't like change the direction and go into another room and yeah. be in the movie. Like yeah. you just watch it. You'll yeah. experience it. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. And and three hours. Yeah. Be like, they'll three. be like three fucking three. hours. <laughs> They're like, what? I watch videos that are. 0.29 seconds they're gonna this is or this is this is yeah this is how the movies are gonna be yeah it's like it's like neo in the matrix when it gets uploaded something gets uploaded you're like oh yeah no no no, i'm gonna watch pocahontas oh my god it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> all right gotta go yeah movie night yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah, netflix yeah, and chill yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. just oh, around the river man. oh wow yeah, that movie was great all right. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. <laughs> it's like that's what date nights are gonna be. Like, yeah. hey, hey, yeah, hey, well, oh my god, it was great, right? I will talk about it later. Wow, that's 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 a different thought about that and one. Then, and yet? then they'll and then there'll be like the community theater movie stuff for people like you know the other old crowd of people who just still like the theater, but they'll be like super low rent things that you know again the kids mm -hmm. don't see. Um, yeah. So you know, I hope that's not where movies are. I don't think it is, but um, we'll see. We'll see how Avatar hey, does. I'm okay. Look, if 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 the worst case scenario is that we gotta roll up in a limo in a tuxedo or go to a movie, it's not a bad thing. If that's where it ends up going. There's a that's the silver lining, man. Yeah, it's like you know, it comes out. It comes the opera. It's like that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Sad, yeah, but but the problem is, is that. You know that economic system will not allow new movies to be made, so we'll only have to watch Avatar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it'll just be Avatar eight and Fast mm. and Furious. Don't 10. forget my bifocals. Yeah. Oh, Papa, what are you going to see tonight? Rambo three. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> Vin Diesel is coming on next. Yeah. See you all. Farewell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, taking our grandkids. And that, my boy, is The Rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So next like The Rock, the actor, or the movie? Both. You They're know, both great. Both, yeah, both. They're both great. But the movie The movie's definitely. great. Um movie. The Rock yeah. The Rock got called out for taking steroids recently by Joe Rogan. Did you hear that? I mean, called out. You just gotta look at him. Right, it's kind of obvious. Who's, who's saying? Who? Who's I mean, look, it's just it's just a big it's just a big platform where Joe Rogan was just like, "Yo, The Rock clearly takes steroids, and he should come out and admit it. He does the family friendly thing. He does all these things. Come out and admit you take steroids." Ooh, so he like went after him, like because kind of went out, like it was it was like yeah. you know just in yeah. a conversation. Anyways, I don't want really to go after him. Like you're saying no, he it just, offhanded, saying it offhanded, like oh, he clearly takes steroids is one thing, but it'd be like he should come out and he's saying like so much. Anyways, James Gunn. So Ooh. James Gunn. James Gunn's a director. He directs all of the Guardian of the Galaxies. Okay, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians. movies. 
the yeah. Marvel stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and look, Guardian of the Galaxies were really great. Marvel has done a few things really well, like that were really reinventive. I mean, obviously the first one was coming out with Iron Man. When John Favreau did Iron Man, it was fantastic. Um I thought that like their first run of movies was really good personally. Like even the Captain America movies were excellent. Like those movies were so good. Um, and, and for a while they were really making bangers, you know, it, it did fall off, but you know, they, they, in my opinion, it's become whatever. Um, not, you know, I don't, whatever the originality and the, the spark that they had at the yeah, beginning yeah. is just, it's now it's a total product. That's but same. when James yeah. Gunn came out with, um, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, it was really cool. He was doing new things again. It was kind of like a Tarantino superhero movie because he was using needle drop music. You know, he just like throw in a track the way that Tarantino puts music into movies. Yeah, 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 the yeah. dialogue was crude yeah. and racy. I mean, look, the other times that they've done this was with Deadpool when they came Deadpool, out. Deadpool was also very, they just really like kind of tried something fresh there. They did do it with Logan as well when they did the Logan mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, which was also, yeah. you know, so they Marvel has they, done they, this multiple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. good at iterating and trying things. Anyways, James Gunn crushed it with the Guardian of the Galaxy thing. It was a, it was a new style. He got fired at one point for old tweets of his that he made jokes about pedophilia, and they fired him. Um, and then the jokes? cast was like, "No, we, you know, we're for pedophilia." No, and the, the <laughs> cast fought for him and brought him back in. Um, nonetheless, really, really talented filmmaker, sharp okay. dude. He brought a lot to Marvel. Um, yeah. He he runs that franchise. Well, he's left Marvel, oh. and he's at DC now. And if you know, you know DC and Marvel; yeah, those are the competing yeah, yeah. entities. You know, DC was always the king because DC had Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Marvel, the biggest property Marvel had up until the movies was Spider Man. You know, like Spider-Man, as far as comic books go, was Marvel's thing. No one, Iron Man was not a big comic book. No. Okay. Iron Man was not. Is is X-Men DC or Marvel? X-Men's Marvel. X-Men was also big. X-Men was big. X-Men and Spider-Man were big. Okay. X-Men and Spider-Man, those were the big ones for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but they were able to spin off. I mean, look, Captain America was big. They were, they, they had these things, but like Iron Man. You start was naming like, oh, I guess Flash was big. Uh, no, but no, but Flash like wasn't as big as, uh, so what I'm trying to say is like some of the properties that they crushed with, especially Iron Man coming out the gate with Iron Man was just, you, you wouldn't, Iron Man was never the biggest character. It wasn't. In fact, there's a great story. I read a book about this, but the way that they chose Iron Man was they brought a bunch of kids in and they would they would just do these tests where they put all the toys down and saw which kids played with what toys the most. And the kids would gravitate to play with the Iron Man toy. So they're like, that's the first movie we're going to make. That's how wow. they decided. That's pretty smart. And it wasn't their biggest character at all. Uh, yeah. And they've done this again and again with other characters and other things. Deadpool. Deadpool was not a big Marvel character. No, yeah. they didn't lead with Deadpool. Now, same with this new one. They just did Black Adam, yeah. Shazam, right? These were not huge characters. These You had to be a real comic book nerd to be into these characters. I thought Shazam was like a Shaquille O'Neal movie. I didn't even know Shazam was a fucking Marvel comic. Right, right. Neither did I. So, you know, look, they're running, they need new IP and they've got a ton of it and they're trying to build up all these new characters, et cetera. So yeah. anyways, James Gunn left. That's he crazy. went to DC. Wow. Okay. Wow. And now he's Thank taken you. over DC. And so the first thing that he's done is he's halted production on everything and he's firing everybody. So in fact, a week ago, hey, he went in as like a, an executive or something like he's in his... charge of, he's in charge of DC. Oh, he's he's going to be like the Kevin Fahey. Cause Kevin Fahey runs Marvel. That's the man. Oh, that is the guy man. who runs it. A lot of people even say that like, well, whatever, I'm not going to say it. He runs it. He runs it. A lot of people say that some of the directors don't really even direct. They're like episode directors, whereas the showrunner on a television show is really in charge. Kevin that Fahey Kevin is the Fahey. showrunner of Marvel. Okay, keeping, he's in charge. Keeping, uh, that he's in charge. Vibe going. He up. is in charge, and so uh, James Gunn now is 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 in that position over DC. And look, DC has never been able to compete with Marvel on their level over the last few years, less Batman. Batman has always been their shining star, you know, mm -hmm. but like even Superman movies, you know, there haven't been any great Superman movies in a long time. I don't know. The Henry Cavill stuff. Superman, DC has been awful. Awful. 
except a couple of Batmans. The Batman stuff. The Joker right. was great. Spin not all of them. But some no, of them. not all of them. The Suicide Squad was terrible. Every time they try to be like Marvel. Suicide Batman. Squad was awful. Um, the, all the new Supermans. All the Batmans between, you know, between Christian Bale and this last. What's no. his face? What do you mean all the Batmans between Christian Bale? There was only one, the Suicide yep. Squad, but it wasn't You're... even a Batman movie. What no, was it between? dude. Fucking uh, Ben Affleck took over. Well, that yes, but those were the ones where it was an ensemble. That was when they were trying to do the Marvel thing and put everyone together. It was Wonder Woman, Batman, you know, Jason. Wait, there Momoa, was a Batman the Superman Man. one. There was a Batman. Batman. Super- yeah, like Batman a- versus Superman. Right. These weren't right. like standalone Batman movies. This was when they were trying to do what Marvel yeah, does, which right. is it was never bring standalone. all the characters right. in and do the big ensemble thing. Terrible Aquaman. They, oh. They've all they've all you know. I I mean Aquaman. Hey, I don't know why. Line. So now this him. guy is coming in. He's in charge. And he's in charge. And he's halted everything. He halted everything. Okay. And then he fired Henry Cavill today. Fire <laughs> Superman. Superman. You're out. Done. Goodbye. Stop the Wonder Woman movies, which weren't bad. The first one wasn't bad. All right. It was, you know, did what it's supposed to do. People liked right. it. It did well. Um, Gals, I think a good Wonder Woman. But – yeah, he's just stopped everything. He's he's coming in and he's just fired Henry. Yeah, and and so the first Superman, eh? Yeah, well, and they're doing the superhero uh, Superman. Wow, they're doing let's, young let's, let's be real. Well, dude. They're doing young Superman. Oh really? They're doing young Superman. They're gonna go young. They're gonna do cover. Who knows what? And and but the other th- the other th- young Superman is yeah. gonna be high school. Maybe yeah, they might yeah do high school you know, Superman. He's high school kid. Which would be a dream because, dude, imagine being Superman in high school. Every day of my life. <laughs> I thought I was Superman in high school. That's I thought year. I was too. And I wasn't. Yeah, no. I was so brazen. I was just like, what's up? Can't hurt me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so it would be really interesting to see what he comes up with. Uh, you know, he's always very vulgar. That's the thing about him, though. He's got this very edgy, vulgar thing. Superman is not that. So no. it's going to be really interesting to see Man, what he does. Yeah. Superman is always with like Superman. 50s PC, like Americana. You know, he's yeah, a good yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. Superman. You can't be, you can't do that with Superman or or uh, Captain America because they represent like value, right? They represent value. You might do, all. but then again, what if he just flips it on his head? What if Superman comes Superman's out just like, as like a non-binary <laughs> cursing? You know, <laughs> like who knows where he might yeah, take yeah, Superman? Yeah. You know, like yeah, what is yeah. Superman going to look like? Right, right. Um, yeah. Get out of the fucking phone booth, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, man, I'm waiting out here 20 minutes for your ass. Yeah. I um, mean, in fact, if Superman goes non-binary, it's no longer Superman. It's just super. It's just super. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super. All super. right. Next, next and final talking point is, did you see the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once yet? Have you let me let me let me start again. Have you heard of the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once yet? No. All right. Never. Nope. Not at all. Yeah. So it's a movie directed by these guys named the Daniels. They're music video directors. They directed one movie before this, which was this really funky movie with Paul Dano and um what's his name? Harry Potter, uh Radcliffe. Okay. Daniel Radcliffe. Where they're like on an island and Daniel Radcliffe's dead and Paul Dano just like you know, does weird things to his dead body. It's 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 a strange movie. What? It's trippy. They're very visual, weird. I no longer had desire to be in movies like this. What? But moving on. I I when I was younger, I had desires of being in movies that like yeah, that's weird. Like I want to go there. Like I don't really. It doesn't strike me as fun to do anymore. Yeah. Anyway, well, moving well, on. So, so, so what about it? What about your follow up movies? This movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's a really good film. It's crazy. It's a trip. It's cool. Um, I enjoyed it. Wow. It's it's certainly ambitious and they pulled it off. And they it's like this Asian family. It's all around Asian actors. And they cast, I hope I say his name correctly, Ki Hui Kwan. Okay. He plays the father. He's excellent in the movie. And you know who it is. I'm going to share the screen right now. Uh, it is data. Was, what? What did you say? You don't know who it is. What, what did no. you say? I why for a second? I don't know. Why. I thought it was data from from Goonies. 
Yeah, that's who it is. That is okay, bro. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. mad racist for this. <laughs> what you just saw was me be like, "Well, we can't cut this out. Like, we're almost at the end of the podcast. We can't start over." It's the dude I from Goonies. Because I saw like that was like data, and I'm like, "Oh, did I just?" <laughs> All Asian person look alike moment. That is data. Okay. Good. Oh okay. man, have, what if I was? Bro, just I'm so happy I landed that. That is not. <laughs> That's not data. It's data. It's data. It's data. It's okay. Data. That's and, awesome. And I don't remember the name of his character, but from Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was I Temple of Doom. Right. Awful um, movie. <laughs> awful movie but i it was my favorite as a kid which is so weird i watched it again yeah. and i was just like this is atrocious, atrocious like man. really bad but as a kid it scared the hell out of me it was the greatest thing i ever saw i know it was like, oh, 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 oh. like oh my like god that, that was that was just terrifying as a child oh okay. man i'm good i'm happy for data data was awesome dude, dude. i loved the goonies so what a cool hollywood story like this is you know i was having dinner last night with a manager <clears throat> really well-known manager he's managed Huge people, Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth, like he is very successful manager. And he was talking, we were talking about the whale with Brendan Fraser, how Brendan Fraser was nowhere for a long time. He had this big career. He had this great moment with the mummy and then just ghosted. No one heard about him for a long time. Couldn't get arrested. And now all of a sudden he's having a resurgence. And we were just, he was just talking about how this can happen, you know, in Hollywood and how cool that is, that it's, it's just so possible for anybody. And here's another one of those stories. Like, yeah, this guy has not been around in a while, bro. His entire adult life. I know, I know. No one has know. seen him once puberty hit. Right. Yeah. He's fifty-one, so and we're he, talking like yeah, thirty-five fucking years. Yeah. Wow. Good. Yeah. I hope it works out well for him. And now he's having like this moment again. He and he really did. He, you know, and he really gave an incredible performance in the movie. If you watch it, he's he's great. So. You're telling me there's a chance. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope, Mike. You know, there's man, hope. I needed to hear that because I was having a rough go of it this morning. So yeah. if all of this has been a roundabout way of telling me not to kill myself, mission accomplished. I shall well, hold off. We've done our job today. Okay. Take care. Good seeing you. Talk Peace to you later. out.